way. Uh, what, how do you think that chemistry has worked, and are you concerned at all going into a pretty tough game not having caught a lot of balls from whichever quarterback this is? No, no concerns because, I mean, you know, first correction, I've caught a ton of balls in practice, you know, from these guys. So just being able to see them spin it the way that they do in practice definitely gives me confidence to uh, expect them to do the same thing again. For both of you, how – how much is it fun opportunity when you open the season with a conference opponent, particularly one that's in the top five in the nation? Yeah, I think it's awesome. It's a, it's a great opportunity for us, you know, to test and, and see where we are uh, after a long spring and a long camp. So I, I think it's awesome. Great way to start the season. Um, personally, yeah. As coach, we're going to find out about toughness from you guys real quick, playing a team like Georgia from the beginning. What would you say? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, you're playing a team that literally goes around and hits all 12 opponents that they play in the mouth. And, uh, you know, they don't give up. And they don't let up. They're going to come at you over and over and over again. And you got to be able, you gotta be able and willing to sit in there and take it. And then return some punches. Is that a mindset going in that you know that that's going to have to be that way? Oh, yeah. I mean, I think that's an every game thing, definitely. Uh, Georgia, especially. You know, the defensive line of, you know, some big guys on the offensive line who come downhill and try to, you know, pancake you every time, every play. So I think it's definitely something you have to go into the game thinking about. But I mean, that's that's an every game thing, really. So, Jared, any extra motivation playing the Bulldogs being from the state of Georgia? Honestly, that stuff doesn't really come into play unless you're at Georgia. You know, because I mean, I've, I've got a lot of people coming, but it's not like a crazy amount. Like last year, I think I had like 20 tickets. So it doesn't really come to play unless you're in Georgia. So. Do you know a lot of folks that go to school there and or play for the team? or More that to go to the school, but I know Andrew, we play really league together. That's about it. Drew, what, what, what makes Georgia's run game so, so effective? What's the key to that? Uh, I would say. You know, the, the athleticism and the size of their offensive line is, is really impressive. Uh, they're able to, to get down, you know, get off the ball, get down on the, the lineman, and then move from there to the second level. Um, so you have to be, you know, really stout in, in where you are on the line, and, and um, you know, you can't let, you can't get knocked off the ball. You have to, you know, really hold your gap and maintain that, that position. Jared, you're preseason All-American, but you're also with some guys that are getting a lot of other preseason mention. Is, are you going into the season anticipating that you'll get double coverage, or are you thinking that with a lot of the other guys on the team and the weapons, it's hard for any team to double up on any of you guys? Um, definitely the latter. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really expecting anything that they didn't do last year. Just because, I mean, you, we saw a lot of coverage either shift to collision, and I'd be open. We saw a lot of coverage shift to me, and then collision. And collision is always open, but he'd be more open. And then you saw them try to, like, kind of play us, the both of us, a little bit, and then Keyshawn ripping off the 75 yard run. So, I mean, you just, it's really big for us. Drew, a similar question before. What, what makes Jake Fromm so, so effective? How is he different than a lot of other quarterbacks? I think a lot to do with his experience. You know, he's played a lot. Uh, even though he's, he's on the younger side, really, he's played a lot. And, you know, his ability to, you know, see his reads and, and get the ball out, I think it's, it's really impressive and something that you see, but not like he's, he's pretty elite at it. Jared, what are two or three more questions? Good gentlemen, thank you very, very much. Thanks, Appreciate it.